And in that game, that will be the last game that Ken Singleton, our colleague, will announce. During today's game, he announced his retirement as a broadcaster. We all knew it was coming, guys, for the past several years. He had hinted at it. John Filippelli able to lure him with a reduced schedule to stay. But Kenny today saying goodbye. And you can see Michael obviously emotional about the announcement. 37 years in the broadcast booth. A tremendous player. A tremendous broadcaster, and I know, Flash, how much he means to you because of the work you guys did together in the booth. Yeah, it was pretty special listening to Kenny uh, to talk about the ride that he's been on. And, you know, it brought me back to my first year in the booth in 2006 and being that rookie uh, in this new profession. And Kenny, like any great veteran teammate, took me under his wing, you know, and kind of showed me the way. Uh, there were a lot of bumps along the way, and he kind of helped me get through it. Uh, we worked a lot of West Coast games together and Kenny kind of forced me to uh, to start doing some play-by-play -play and not just be comfortable in the role as an analyst you know expand try to get better keep pushing and I can't thank Kenny enough for what he did just to get me going along my path but to help me get better along the way and more importantly the friendship and, and the, the the veteran teammate and the guy that I looked up to in this profession he, he really taught me a lot see the word teammate with Kenny stands out to me and when I was Perfect. doing some play-by-play -play, I might not because you know I wasn't I didn't do it like Kenny Kenny did it for years he'd be pointing stuff out to me silently look over here look here look at the ump yep. look at where the ball is in the outfield that that was invaluable to me a classy guy and I think when you listened to his speech in which he said goodbye he wanted to make sure that he mentioned everyone that he had worked so closely with and I just always thought that Kenny was as nice, as affable, and as prepared as any broadcaster I had ever come across. And he was also the type of person who very randomly a text would pop into my phone. Hey, Jack, I really enjoyed that interview you did with so-and-so on the pregame. Hey, Jack, I thought you made a good point on the postgame. And then the text I liked the most. Hey, Jack, here's a new reggae song from this artist. <laughs> Something that I think you might like. You should check it out. So we will all miss having Kenny. Kenny as a teammate, but we will all continue to be his friend. Now, can we lure him back? Maybe the only way is if John Filippelli channels his inner Earl Weaver, yells at Kenny, and forces <laughs> him to come back next year. I don't